Hey, Cars Guys, JT here. Welcome back to the channel where all that matters is Cars Guys. Hey, we're back at the Cars Guys lab. As you can see in the background here, uh, Corvette Corner. Uh, thanks for checking in and uh, thanks for pressing play. Hey, if this is the first time you're checking in, hey, hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Can you believe it? 500 subscribers. Thanks for all the uh, subscribers uh, that checked in between uh, now and the uh, last time I had an episode, which was, uh, what was it? That's right, Supercars, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode where we were out at uh, McLaren in Philadelphia. Very nice upload and uh, extremely nice cars. Sucks when you looking at supercars when you can't afford to grab one but hey one day and with you guys help hey you never know it could be a mclaren or some other kind of supercar in uh, the cars guys future so hey thanks for pressing play again guys and uh, welcome back to the channel hey uh if you guys are living in the uh tri-state area the uh jersey pa or delaware area you know we've had some inclement weather so if you can look out here guys still a little snow in the background here look past uh, Ramsey here still some uh, remnants of snow so uh, hey not a whole bunch we can do out on the road but uh, hey we can do some stuff here at the cars guys lab in Corvette corner Check around cars guys hey cars guys welcome back we're here at uh, the cars guys lab here at uh, the tail end of Zeus and uh, like I said in the beginning of the upload or we're going to do an upgrade on Zeus that's why we're going to do that stage three wicker build that fills in this section of the spoiler now I've seen a lot of Corvettes with this particularly uh, my buddy Justin over at HBO if you haven't subscribed to his channel already uh, go on, on over to a uh, horsepower obsessed and he's got a great red Z06 that he actually has that wicker build already on there. Now, there are a couple of positives and the negatives about that wicker build. While it looks cool and it's really functional, it creates a little drag and it uh, makes your miles per gallon, your fuel efficiency, if you can use that term with a Z06, it, it kind of reduces your miles per gallon. So, and it's, it's marginal. So, you have to ask yourself, do you want your car to look cool or do you want more miles per gallon? And think about it, with a Z06, who's thinking about miles per gallon? I mean, it's 650 horsepower, 650 foot-pound of torque, so we're not thinking about fuel consumption. So let's do the wicker build. So thanks for pressing play, guys. GoPro, I've got another angle here, so you guys are gonna get, when I get back to editing, you guys will see a better look and a couple of different angles with this wicker build install. So first things first, guys, uh, I know as cars guys and do-it-yourselfers, we always think that we can do stuff without really following all the proper procedures. Now, with this job, we're going to be dealing with a lot of small screws, so you want to protect your hands. I don't know about you guys, but I like playing the guitar and the bass guitar and doing some other things other than this car stuff. So you don't want to rip your hands apart doing a simple mod on your car. So, you know, grab yourself some rubber gloves before you get started and now you can have at it. Your hands are protected, right? Now let's get started. So here's the packaging it came in, guys. It uh, came from a place, uh, Extreme Online Store, and it's uh, pretty, pretty decent packaging here. So let's see what we got here. And, just in case you didn't know, guys, you actually have to order the uh, the extra length, the uh, longer screws for the uh, wicker build install. They don't come with the actual spoiler, so these are the actual screws you have to order separately. So we'll open these in a little bit. So here we go. Handy dandy knife. You always want to cut away from your hands, guys. I've seen a lot of people cut up, and you don't want to do that. Good. We've got a list of instructions here. You know, we're cars guys. We don't need no stinking instructions. Come on. Get out of here. All right. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh, this is really cool looking, guys. Got it packaged up really good. So the idea here is, uh, well, let's take it out of the packaging first. Let's get this thing all out. This thing like Fort Knox here. That side done. All right. 
Looks like they have a little bit of uh, kind of like a bubble wrap here in the corners to protect the uh, extreme corners of this thing. So. Looks like we got some rubber kind of uh, bushings here, like the elongated washers here for the uh, wicker bill sections. If you can see the sections here, they probably go in here somehow. So let's uh, we finish unpackaging the things he does. Get a better look. See, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, mid November and we're doing stuff on a Corvette, huh? <laughs> Crazy. All right, let's see here. Hey, if you're willing to sacrifice two or three miles per gallon just for aesthetics, just for looks, you may have shallow how syndrome. And I'm definitely shallow how. I want to look good, so here we go. All right, so this is the idea, guys. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to go on kind of like this. It lines up here, and it lines up over there. And that's pretty much how it's going to look, guys. This is the wicker bill stage three portion of your spoiler. All right, let's uh, let's look at how this thing goes on. And it's you see here, guys, it's smoked, so it's uh, got a little bit of a tint already. It's not a clear piece of plastic, so it should look pretty good once I get it on here. So let's see what we have to do here. For the sake of brevity, I'll look at the instructions, but I didn't have to. All right, it says here, uh, the center wicker bill, four support grommets. I love that word, grommets. That is a grommet. It's a washer. All right, uh, hardware not included. Okay, I got those four screws needed. These are the screws they're talking about, guys. So we'll open these in a little bit. Let's make sure we get the grommets in place. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Uh, again, the tri-state area folks uh, can't help but uh, give you my condolences on this weather, man. It's, uh, it was an awful summer. It looks like it's going to be a brutal winter. So that's how it goes here in the uh, East Coast. So it looks like they go on the back side here. Yep, yeah, because that's the side that's going to go up against your finish. So they go in here. So, yep, I think, by Joe, I think I've got it. Makes sense, right? Let me see. If you see here, guys, these things kind of go on the inside of the spoiler here, and they're supposed to stay in place here. Looks like they get recessed. There's a little bit of a recessed section here for each grummet. Alright, now I've got them in here in place. Alright, now we're going to have to actually, looks like we're going to actually have to remove the existing screws, which is a Torx. So you're going to have to have your handy dandy Torx screwdriver. Look at that. First time. Huh? <laughs> Cars, guys. All right, let's do it here. Let's get this thing going the right way.
debris in between your spoiler and your wicker bill. All right, that all wiped off. Now let's unpackage the uh, longer screws. Because it looks like this is what these longer screws are for. Let's, let's do the outermost. Let's try to get the outermost ones on first. Stick it through here and let's not uh, disturb the grommet, right? Sounds like a uh, Lord of the Rings episode. Disturbing the grommet. All right, got those two in first. All right, gang, so there you have it. There's the uh, center wicker bill for the uh, spoiler. Uh, one little side note, guys. Uh, uh, if you saw early in the uh, vlog, um, we had a little bit of a difficult time getting those uh, oval-shaped grommets to get properly seated down in the back of this uh, wicker bill portion here. So uh, just a suggestion, if you want to get some spray adhesive uh, just to spray that grommet so it sits in there without it moving around once you're trying to tighten it up, that would probably be best because I actually had to go back uh, off camera and get those grommets and work them back into where they're supposed to be behind the actual center wicker bill. So, um, just a little side tip, guys, uh, that they don't actually put in the instructions. That would probably help out a lot. So, uh, all right, cars, guys, once you have that uh, center wicker bill portion in place here and you got it firm and got it locked down pretty good, uh, go back behind yourself and uh, always clean up behind yourself, guys, and a little bit of quick detail and start having at it. Cleans up like new money, gang. Look at that. Huh? All right, guys, I'm gonna see all of you guys in the next upload. See you soon. Hey, I haven't forgotten about the uh, watch out for cars, guys. If you don't already know, uh, one lucky subscriber once a month wins a watch, but I'm literally two months, almost three months behind, so I'm gonna have to get cracking on this watch giveaway. I have two people already slated, so just trying to iron out the, uh, the details to have uh, them meet with me at some undisclosed location or predetermined location to uh, actually give them their watch. So uh, that's right, this is a channel where uh, all that matters is uh, cars, guys. Uh, so hey, like I said, if this is the first time you're checking in, Smash that subscribe button and uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw today. And um, hey, hit that bell notification. Let you, let you know when I have future uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next upload.